A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to make a flash picture gallery. Now guys this picture gallery is a lot different from all the other picture galleries that I've done. It's a fade in or fade out picture galleries. You would argue that uh, I already have done one and there are so many of them on the uh, on YouTube and there are uh, several other uh, video hosting channels. So what's different? First of all guys, in my own eyes, this is probably one of the best. One of the reasons is that while one picture is fading in, the other one is fading out simultaneously. I think uh, I'll put my point forward after I actually show you a published preview. Let me hit control, enter on the keyboard and show it to you. So here goes. So you see while one picture is fading in, uh, the other is fading out. It's happening simultaneously as if one picture is melting into the other one so that there's a nice smooth transition let me show you a full screen preview guys see uh, so you, you it's, it's as if uh, a metamorphosis is taking place all right so and um, I'm using three pictures guys you could use 10 20 30 that's entirely up to you so as long as you understand the logic that I've used the logic that I've used with my AS3 you're good to go with as many uh, images as you want okay so this is a little different from the other fade and fade out picture gallery that I'd done uh, a few days ago uh, there one picture would come in and fade away and then the other pic picture would come in here one picture comes in goes away and while it goes away the the other one comes in uh, together so uh, I think the effect is uh, most dramatic and most pleasing according to me so let's get going guys uh, let me dig inside the actions panel and make you understand uh, the action script <coughs> guys before I actually dig inside the actions panel I need to tell you that the best part about this picture gallery is it uses just two layers as you can see guys there's a pictures layer and there's an AS3 layer and on the pictures layer there is just one single frame that's the best part so if there is just one frame where are the other pictures the other pictures are beneath the first picture yes it's a pile of pictures it's a stack of pictures they are on top of each other that's again uh, the beauty of uh, this uh, script that I'd written I was very pleased with myself let me displace the you know the the top picture and guys uh, can you see the top picture that I've uh, aptly named uh, MC1 if I go to the properties inspector I have uh, given it an instance name MC1 below MC1 I have yet another movie clip which has uh, registration point top left all of the movie clips have a registration point top left the second picture from the top the one that's in the middle is called MC2 guys and the third one again which has the registration point top left corner has been called MC3 okay uh, so guys all the pictures are on top of each other the order is important please keep MC1 right at the top MC2 in the middle and MC3 at the bottom but if you you're gonna have um, more than three images so uh, please keep the same order okay so what I'll do is I'll uh, put the pictures back where they belong so I'm gonna do a control Z again and again okay so I have reset the pictures back to where they should be so guys um, I'm, I'm I'm hoping and expecting that you know how to import uh, the pictures all you need to do was file and say import and then you could import the pictures either to the stage of the library I'm skipping these steps I'm assuming safely guys that you are uh, not a novice and you know how to do that after which I converted all the three pictures all the three JPEG images into movie clips and uh, you do that by selecting the pictures hitting F8 so I'm, I'm skipping the ba very basic steps I'm assuming that uh, you know a little bit of a flash 
production script 3 okay so I'll uh, rush now inside the actions panel and guys notice that I have less than 50 lines of action script 3 okay so uh, let's see step by step what I've done the first step that I've done is I've uh, dropped the alpha of all the three movie clip clips MC1 MC2 and MC3 I beg your pardon MC1 MC2 and MC3 to 0 if you notice guys the first picture fades in from 0 to 1 I need to ensure that initially the MC1 dot alpha is 0 the transparency is maximum so that when it fades in otherwise what will happen uh, you will see the picture at full opacity and then it will fade in and uh, you, you would get kind of a, uh, a f you know a flashy or a jerky effect that is n not what I want okay I want it to fade in smoothly next guys uh, in line number 18 uh, what I've done is I have instantiated a timer guys this is how you instantiate a timer you create a variable I've created a variable timer of the type timer and uh, informed action script 3 that's a new timer here the first parameter is the delay after how many milliseconds do you want the timer to fire and I've inf informed flash CS 5.5 that I want my timer to fire after every 500 milliseconds and this second <coughs> excuse me guys second parameter um, which is 27 guys is uh, the number of times Rep it's called the repeat count I want my repeat count to be 27 I want that uh, my timer should fire off 27 times after every 500 milliseconds then it should exhaust itself and, and come to a stop all very good now that uh, I have instantiated the timer guys I need to start it as well which I have done in line number 13 and in line number 20 uh, uh, 12 I'm sorry line number 12 what I've done is I've added an event to the listener timer event dot timer okay this is the type of the timer event which is uh, going to listen to the when you add an event to the listener it then listens to this uh, time span which is 500 milliseconds so after every 500 milliseconds guys the timer will uh, execute a function timer listener okay and uh, the function timer listener is uh, going to perform the function which we'll see uh, guys first I would want you to ignore something I would want you to ignore this much we'll come back to it later okay let's uh, confine ourselves to line number 17 right now here I've used an if conditional guys it says if timer dot current count is equal to is equal to one what is current count guys notice this number 27 is the repeat count this is the number of times the um, timer will tick okay the first time the timer ticks the current count is one the second time the counter uh, you know the the timer ticks that's current count two so when the repeat count is 27 which means that uh, the current count would change from uh, 1 to 27 after every 500 milliseconds okay so that's the difference between uh, current count and repeat count while the current count is changing from 1 to 27 the repeat count is a value that's not changing that's uh, stable that's fixed at 27 okay so I want that uh, dear timer listen to when half a second elapses or when 500 milliseconds elapse and once they do please check it once you've checked it has happened half a second has gone by half a second is history now then I would want you to tween something guys everything is done through action script I've created a variable tween one of the type tween which is equal to new tween guys again this uh, tutorial may not be for uh, the very beginners guys who don't know how to do the tween 
to action script 3 but if you do know then you are the lucky one and uh, the property that I'm tweening here is the alpha property the picture the object that I'm tweening these are the parameters guys the first parameter is uh, object this is the property that is being tweened this is the easing uh, the type of ease this uh, parameter is uh, the value the starting alpha this is the ending alpha guys so from uh, alpha of 0 to alpha of 1 and uh, over 2 seconds so the tween is happening over 2 seconds and when I say true it means that please uh, use the number 2 as seconds not as frames if I put false here then it would understand that the number 2 is not uh, uh, number of seconds but it is supposed to be number of frames which is not the case so this is how you actually tween an object guys you can not only tween the X property but you can also tween the alpha property so I'm telling uh, flash hey flash please tween MC1 over two seconds and uh, the alpha should increase from a you know initial value of 0 to 1 okay so when half a second goes by has elapsed when the first current count comes into action the alpha should increase for the MC1 from a 0 to a 1 over 2 seconds alright then the current count would go from 1 to 10 it would go tick 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 and when it reaches 10 it's supposed to do something more but uh, between 1 and 10 it will do nothing after tweening or changing the alpha it will sit it will allow the user or the viewer to see the picture admire the picture you see here I've used 2 seconds 2 seconds is equal to 4 current counts every current count happens after um, 500 milliseconds 2 seconds is equal to 2000 milliseconds so the tween the fading in would happen over 2 seconds and uh, thereafter till the current count is 10 the current count 10 will happen after 5 seconds elapse guys so the period after the tweening happens or the alpha becomes 1 and current count 10 we, we got uh, a little time that is the time you, you can admire the picture all very good okay what happens when the current count becomes 10 then uh, I would want the same picture which is MC1 that had faded in I would want it to fade out now over one second this time uh, I'm, I'm telling flash that while the picture is fading in it should happen over two seconds but when it's fading out I don't want it to be too dramatic uh, it's okay if it fades out over one second that's fine and while the the first picture is fading out or while the MC1 is fading out I'm also telling flash please allow the MC2 to fade in from a 0 to a 1 over two seconds very nice so what will happen with the help of line number 29 and 30 guys MC1 fades out while MC2 fades in okay then what happens uh, the timer will wait until the current count becomes 19 so there is a gap between the current count 10 and the current count 19 in between current count 10 and current count 19 fading in and fading out of MC1 and MC2 happens after which the user can admire the picture for, a, for a some time span and once the current count hits 19 I would want the MC2 this time to fade out and MC3 to fade in over two seconds while MC2 fades out over one second all very nice now I'm also telling flash in line number 40 if timer that is the variable which is holding uh, the new timer if uh, the current count of uh, the timer becomes equal to 27 guys okay that is uh, when the timer exhausts itself you see the the 
the repeat count is also 27 which means what should flash do once the timer comes to the last current count or the final current count at 27 current count the timer will exhaust itself I'm telling flash hey flash once you the timer has exhausted it's come to an end please reset the timer and start the timer again alright um, <coughs> so also I have announced a variable counter for the very first time uh, and uh, made it equal to 1 but I've done this only in line number 44 and only if the timer has exhausted itself that happens when the current count becomes equal to 27 only then I would want the variable counter be equal to 1 and why have I done it why have I done it only after the um, the counter has exhausted itself there's a reason for that guys if you remember I commented out lines 18 to 22 let me get them back in the picture now here it says if current if the counter is equal to is equal to one now that will happen only once the uh, timer will exhaust itself or when the repeat uh, count uh, you know when the current count becomes 27 then the counter will become one then I would want the last picture which is MC3 guys my pictures are MC1 MC2 and MC3 respectively should fade out while the very first picture is fading in so this will loop uh, the very first picture back in while the last picture MC3 is fading out okay so this was uh, the little foxy bit uh, that I tried I got a little stuck here but I found my way out of it and then everything resumes just the way it was so it will check when the current uh, count becomes uh, 1 then when it becomes 10 then when it becomes 19 and then when it exhausts itself it'll reset itself it'll start again make the counter equal to 1 and once it becomes equal to 1 it'll fade out the third picture while it fades in uh, the first picture and it goes in a loop on and on and on okay so guys um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial learn something uh, new useful uh, I haven't tried. I haven't seen it being tried uh, ever before. This combination of uh, tweens and uh, timers and current counts. At least I haven't seen it. Um, I thought it was a pretty good idea. If you feel so, please comment, please subscribe, guys. And before I sign off, I would want you to show the published preview once again. So here goes, guys. A control and on my keyboard. Let me show you the preview this time at full screen size let me maximize please adore guys I conduct uh, online uh, training in web development uh, web designing I, I train people in Dreamweaver flash and action script 3 okay the prices that you see are in Indian rupees INR and if you stay overseas uh, then you can uh, ask me and I will quote the charges that is if you wish to learn online uh, with me okay guys so I'll see you next time with yet another flash or dreamweaver tutorial you do take very good care of yourself bye bye